and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Swain. We're going to be trying out one of Legends of Runeterra's newest champions with a classic. So we're going to be having Soraka in here um, that uh, wants us to heal our damaged allies four plus times to be able to level up and then every time, once a round, our first time each round, that we're healing allies, we're drawing cards. So pretty awesome card and it, it has a whole lot of health so that um, it can take a good amount of damage, support, heal itself back whenever it's attacking. So we're going to be combining that with Swain, um, where Swain also has a lot of health. So if Swain's taking damage, Soraka can heal Swain. Um, so what we got in here to be able to help support these two is we got our we got some Crimson cards, Crimson Aristocrat, Crimson Disciple, Crimson Curator. Uh, they can uh, survive damage and deal some different, you know, do some different things for us. We have Mench of the Stones that can help give our allies plus two, plus two. Well, we found with playing a version, a similar deck to this with the Vladimir Soraka, is that the Crimson cards being just two threes and three threes and two twos and all that kind of stuff, they needed to be bigger to have an impact. They were, um, you know, even though they could stay around for a little bit and, you know, we would heal them, they're still just like a 3-3, and it'd be easy for our opponent to deal with them. So we need them to be bigger. So we're going to be using Mentor of the Stones, hopefully buff up some of these things. So between Mentor of the Stones and uh, Crimson Aristocrat being able to deal one, grant plus two, plus zero. Hopefully those, we can get some even some more power on these. Um, or, you know, like uh, Mentor of the Stones can gr grow Star Shepherd also. How Star Shepherd starts at an 0-3. If we're not able to heal a damaged ally, we can at least turn this into, you know, a 2-5. And then, then we're talking. Uh, let's see. And plus, Metro the Stones um, on Soraka, also good. Get Soraka to be a, a better attacker and still have even more health. So we're going with that. And uh, then also going with Crystal Ibex that can grant Overwhelm. If we're able to use Metro the Stones to be able to buff up one of these things, then we can also give it Overwhelm. Um, that could be a, a nice card. And then plus, it's also just a 4-mana 4-4. Four four. And a 4-mana four 4-4 four four is a good body. Um, that can also work on Swain. We give Swain Overwhelm. That could be pretty nice for uh, a leveled up Swain. In order to, to level up Swain, we have our Crimson Package. We have like the Crimson Awaker, Awakener doing a lot of damage. Then we also have some Sunburst. This format has so many different like five-ish five, five -ish mana cards that are super important to kill. And Sunburst does a good job killing basically all of them. So we're going to have two Sunbursts in here being able to be our champion killer. So let's give this a try. We're gonna have Soraka Swain. Hopefully it does pretty well. We're hoping for that. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked. Let's see how we do. <clears throat> All right, so championless undying. They're gonna be having um, a lot of you know cards to give my stuff vulnerable, and then also the undying to challenge them. I don't think I lead with Star Shepherd. I think we just save the spell mana. Absolutely love Sunburst. Because basically, I don't want to play Star Shepherd and then they play like Hired Gun and just give it. Um, Let me show you what I give it Vulnerable do. or something like that. I love a taste of the action. So Sunburst is perfect with the silence unit, how we can silence the Undying. It is perfect. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. Alright, we'll go ahead and play one of those. I guess both of them. If we're playing one. So I have six mana next turn. That's the important thing. I need to have six, six mana this turn. And we do. Hmm. I guess they could have another Glimpse Beyond if I go if I go Sunburst, if they just use Glimpse Beyond in response. That's bad for me. Well, I hope not. It's a good sign. All right, great. My turn. Mm. I love a man with style. 
I'm not, I don't have the mana to heal these things right now, so we're not going to be able to buff up these Star Shepherds. The reason to play this Crimson Awakener is to be able to attack with a 5-5 this turn, where just attacking with a 2-3, it's not doing very much damage, you know, just 2 damage. So playing the Awakener um, gives us a lot bigger body to attack with. Good Chronicler of Ruin. Sure is dark, eh? So the card they got was Stalking Shadows. It was going to be Ephemeral anyway. They just gave it Ephemeral right there and it reduced the cost. She's be so happy. Uh, we will take that. We're all family here. I love a man with style. It all before. Yeah, the healing landmark leveled up Swain pretty pretty easily here with having our sunburst to awakeners. Nothing left when I'm done. This is like the the best possible that the healing landmark could look. Um, but uh, that's still good. I didn't realize they were going powder kegs, withering whales in their deck. That's still a great combination. Every step, a new journey. So Rucka. Oh, uh, they hit the Undying. At least, okay, I guess, I thought that they were targeting the card that they got with Stalking Shadows, but not necessarily. Yeah, I got to hear what an Ibex sounds like. Okay, so it was it was Curse Keeper they got with Stalking Shadows. <laughs> Go get him, Crimson Awakener. I've still never, ever had an opponent miss with Stalking Shadows. Best run while you can. I know I say that a lot because it just hasn't happened yet. Alright, so we got Leviathan next turn. Now we do need to worry a little bit about Ruination. Or, you know, what we can do for Ruination. What we can do against it. One life in exchange for another. Back alley barkeep, that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Prepare the cargo! Could use this ravenous flock to kill the two one. I can, I understand. Or we could block with Soraka. It's pretty risky. I don't want to. I don't want to take one da Like I don't want Soraka to go down to one health. I think it's very easy for them to do one damage. I don't think I should really attack with Soraka or block with Soraka. So we're just going to use this ravenous flock to stay at six. I don't want vile feast. That kind of stuff, unspeakable horror. I don't want to go down to one health. And yeah, I could have, could have blocked going to two. But I'm just not going to. All right, leveling up Soraka. We can certainly see this being a Ruination turn. So I don't want to just like lead with Swain. Do this first. All right, 
down to 12. So we should be able to draw two off of the Guiding Touch now that we have leveled up Soraka, I believe, but maybe not. Like, we already have healed a damaged ally this round. No, we're not playing any Blood for Blood. This does still just kind of feel like ruination, doesn't it? I became a soldier. This we'll have we'll have the draw two next turn with Sir. I'm just gonna wait till next turn. Okay, well we got two now. Live with purpose. Okay, we did draw two. That's good. Dark in the sky! Lead for Noxus. That is good. Ooh, that's also very good. That saves one of my things from ruination. Good. All right, not good. Mystical levitation requires concentration. All right, trying to save this Leviathan. We have our Mentor of the Stones dying, so we'll create some gems. The gems can do some healing, draw a card with Soraka. That's why I wanted to play the Mentor of the Stones out there. We've seen them do this Dreadway Deckhand Withering Will combo before. It's a good one. It is a good one. Live with purpose. Take heart. Draw a card. Be grateful I even noticed you. Alright, there we go. GG's. Bastion saving the day like always. Wanna know? The heavens rejoice. Wanna know? Alright, playing against D. We're gonna need to have Leviathan. To help us with the deep deck. Um, I like Crimson Awakener. Like four mana five five is cool. Do I want four mana five five and then turn five I play another four mana five five I guess. Maybe we just keep the one in hand for now. See if we get anything a little earlier. Responsibility to Shepherd Stars. I was gonna block. Crimson Awakener. Uh, Alright, we got our Scorched Earth. This matchup is why we're playing Scorched Earth, because they have like their landmark that you gotta kill. Man, they've had a great hand though. Dredgers, Dredgers, Jettison, Dead Bloom Wanderer. You leave me no choice. Yeah, whatever. Live with purpose. Yeah, so those trade, I can't stop those from trading. But still, it's, you know, my one drop trading with their three drop. It's still not bad. I don't have Bastion to protect Swain right here. Or if I wait till next, play Swain next turn, I'll have Bastion to protect it. Oh, 
fear the power you do not see. Yeah, it feels like vengeance, right? Level up, Soraka. No, no, no. Such little lives. Swain's like, I'll just have to level up myself. Got seven out of twelve. The Abyssal Eye will get them deep. Master the power of the stars. Master your healing. I'm trying, but they keep wandering off. Looking into the future, I see purple. Purple. Set the hooks. Kill my Star Shepherd. If I go here, they probably have jettison. Do I want to go? I just want to go here. And kill my mentor the stones and get some gems. I can be patient. I feel better and you feel better. Live with purpose. So I have like the Scorched Earth that can still kill this beast below. If I want to do that. I really wish we had the Crystal Ibex to give Overwhelm. They just keep on blocking with these little 1-1s one -one every single turn. Could have atrocity, sacrifice it, Bastion. Okay. Just go Bastion over there. We're all family here. It's just how am I attacking? I guess I don't actually attack with Swain. Take heart. These one ones they've had to block have really hurt. Have they played three Vile Feasts? Or just the two? Stop with these Abyssal Eyes. Down to five. And so they got atrocity. Yeah. GG's, I guess. And not atrocity. That's good. We're going to be trying, like, 
probably just go straight to combat. They got their three blockers. I'll have four attackers, but they'll let, let the twos in. Yeah, get rid of that atrocity. Leviathan's perfect. So that does mean I can't attack with Swain. Of their yeah, I cannot attack with Swain. We need Swain plus Leviathan. Take heart. Well, I'm, I'm also just assuming they don't have Atrocity. One. I'm going with that. We just saw them get rid of one atrocity. I guess we could go back and check and see if they've gotten rid of all the atrocities or not. Grasp over there, okay. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. Can't really play around atrocity. Well, that's good. So yeah, like if they if they have atrocity, I lose. If they have like Nautilus plus a bunch of sea monsters, I lose. But if they don't have either of those, uh, that is not good. So that will give minus two, minus zero. So I need five power things. So we need. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to block. Because my Leviathan would have died. I didn't want my Leviathan to die. I'm planning on just playing another Leviathan here and having two Leviathans kill them. That's my plan right now. Yeah, one, one Leviathan's a 5-8, the other one's protected by a spell shield. Those are not easy to deal with. They just have double withering mail. I don't think there's any sea monster that this thing can hit. That's a great turn, right? Two Withering Wills and then like a three mana 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a good turn. It's a good 13 mana. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Playing Swain gives us, yeah, gives us a Ravenous Flock out of like also Swain's Ravenous Flock. As a draw. The water rises. Prepare the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. Pull them under. Our teeth. After the battle of Still alive. Uh. 
accuracy for how long? Artillery barrage! But not dead yet. Loyalty through conquest. Life eternal. All right, so we have four cards left. The Isles will bloom again. I'll try anyone you want. All right, we'll pass. Life springs anew. Stun those. Please no Nautilus draw. Please no Nautilus. Oh, I forgot that thing had Challenger. I was just, I'm used to playing against Draglings these days, and so in my mind I was thinking about Draggling. Oh, that thing's not a Draggling. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? I think that's a pretty bad card for my opponent to just play right there. Oh. Yeah, the other, the other atrocity. So it doesn't matter. This is not the end. I. All right, playing against Burn, Mentor the Stones usually dies against Burn, but for our deck with having Star Shepherd, Soraka, I think that's okay to have it die against Burn. Midi Doug, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I really appreciate that. Our second sub of the day, brand new tier one sub. Welcome to the stream, Midi. You're awesome, thank you so much. All right, Choo Choo. Thanks for hanging out. Please don't hurt them. Where does your path lead, Ely? Wherever it goes, I hope it brings me back to you. Be at peace. It's a two, three. No prey, no pay. Let me show you what I can do. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, hey, thank you, Mitty Doug. I really appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube content. Bounty ball knows me die. Pass turn. Guns blazing. Oh, there they go. The dead don't need riches. Okay, they did decide to attack. So we take nine down to seven. Is that all? This is better. Like a fish in water. <laughs> By my hand, Don't want to play the Awakener because it will kill the Disciple. Just kill the Disciple anyway. So that was the card they just grabbed with Zap's Brave in. That's what it looked like. One of the good guys, but not that good. So if I play Crimson Awakener, I'm just gonna play this. If I play Crimson Awakener, then I don't get to block with the Star Shepherd. I'm just gonna play this Mentor the Stones and just block with this thing. Justify yourself. All right, let's wait for me to take the least amount of damage. 
That should be GG's. Yep. Love ya. GG's. Such hatred in their Not enough spells. And didn't have a single other spell besides that, right? Yeah, just the one transfusion. Not gonna just play units and stay alive. Alright, same kind of matchup. We will mulligan our Leviathan, keep the transfusion, keep our Crystal Ibex as a good blocker. So this works out because we'll have our our two mana turn two with the transfusion that we'll just save. Probably going the curator on three. Ibex. Just want the 4 4 out there. I think the spider deck that we're playing against is just the better version of the Shadow, shadow Race that we played earlier. It's a similar deck, but that version's better. Got a brother's bond out of their hand. Oh, why can't I have you sunburst? Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. You know, sunburst that Elise. Concentration. If they don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. Go, floaty crystals. The route's closed. That deck's pretty good. Man, same matchup. We're gonna get destroyed again. Same matchup. I don't I guess Soraka any good? Not really, right? We need Crimson Aristocrat, not Crimson Disciple. Turn this Star Shepherd into being a 2 2. Have it do something. <laughs> and we got the Ibexes now. Let me show you what I can do. We can't block any fearsome cards. This seems like a big weakness in our deck. Alright, you can turn something into being able to block fearsome. Go, floaty crystals. 
I could pump up the Crimson Disciple and block Fierce, but now they played these two things. Uh, we need we need things to block those anyway. And so I just I was tired of my Star Shepherd being in a zero, you know, zero three. All right, we take our five. Guiding Touch would be a really good card to draw. We need a lot of Guiding Touches. Remember the objectives. Yeah, they just go straight Nexus damage. The few for the many. Fear the power you do not see. So we're at eight. Yeah, the spider, the spider aggro deck's really good. Every time we've played it, we've done well. There's a lot of decks, slower decks in the metagame that it's great against if you don't have... If you're a slower deck and you don't have like Avalanche, Withering Whale, Make It Rain, if you don't have those cards, it's really tough to beat this fighter deck, to be honest. Definitely considering just passing so they waste all their mana. Gives them an additional turn, because I'm not attacking, but then they take this turn off. Yeah, you, you play a list with Make It Rain so it's easier. Yeah, if you that's the thing. You don't have Make It Rain, don't have Withering Whale, don't have Avalanche. It's This is tough. Deck to beat. We need to level up our Swain. None of these cards help with leveling up the Swain, unfortunately. We need to have leveled up Swain attack. Do a bunch of damage. Right, so all of our stuff can block fearsome units. What have you got us into now? Explosives pride. This is shaker. Let's get a good look at you. No, the stars. Fine, fine. Our team. We're down to five. All their stuff dies, all my stuff lives. If they just only have units, we can handle that. As long as they don't have, you know, they don't have Nexus damage, we can handle all units. Hope it brings me back to you. So I'm planning on yeah, I'm planning on going with gem and astral protection. Why this is gonna it? heal that. I love a taste of the action. I feel better when you feel better. Take Alternatively, if we don't do astral protection, we could do transfusion. Take nine. I guess maybe I should have played the other Crystal Ibex on the Swain. I don't think I can kill them this turn. No, I mean I can't. I can't do nine damage at least from here. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. We look after our own. This does an additional three points of damage because we got two Overwhelm on the Star Shepherd, healing this Crimson Disciple. We got the first one. We were 1 0. We were 1 0. Three aggro decks in a row with the losses. Came real close against the deep deck. We fought hard. Fought my hardest. And yeah, Nexus damage is pretty good. Wish we had more guiding touches, but we still would have died. Um.
Yeah, Fear, Fearsome's good. I mean, that, that deck's really good. That spider deck, it, it is. Fearsome's good against us. I haven't... You know, we, we changed up some stuff from, from the original list with, with this. And I, I feel good about the changes that we made. I just don't think that Soraka... I just don't think Soraka wins games, if that makes sense. It's really hard to win a game with Soraka. If that makes sense. I mean, we we had Leviathan Swain, so like I like I really like that, you know, because Leviathan Swain is very powerful. Soraka is just not any good. <laughs> it just it's just how it is. Um, but we tried and we fought hard, and I I like where our list was. I think we could have maybe maybe used some more. Maybe I needed a third Crimson Aristocrat to go along with the Star Shepherd to have like that combo on turn one, turn two. Maybe instead of the Crimson Disciple. The thing is, is like if I don't have Star Shepherd, you don't want to lead with Crimson Aristocrat on turn two, which is where you want like Crimson Disciple on turn two. All right, there we go. That's Soraka Swain. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next video.